Hey, I'm Sam Yaffa. And I'm Yash Dekral. And we are two of the three co-founders here at Triton Funds. You may be wondering what Triton Funds is. We're a $25 million student-run fund managed by students from UC San Diego and Cal State Northridge. We launched April 1st, and we're here to serve companies that have an influence on the millennial generation. One that you may have heard, MoviePass. So you may be wondering, there's a lot of discussion going on online and articles that Trident Funds is attempting a takeover of HMNY, which is the parent company of MoviePass. Now, there may or may not be truth behind that. However, we're here in this video to uh, let the public know what our plans are for MoviePass and to gain shareholder support. Uh, I'd first like to start off with our business plan by saying there's been a lot of hashtag uh, movie pass fails going on on Twitter and other social media accounts, you know, and that's something that needs to be addressed immediately. There needs to be concerns uh, such as reimbursements and surge pricing that needs to be taken care of, which was actually announced today by the company, so we applaud them for that. Uh, additionally, we believe that there's an opportunity for MoviePass to incentivize customers to purchase concessions at concession stands across movie theaters because that's another avenue of revenue for the company. Um, but essentially, these are the media problems that are faced by the users. The number that caught our eye is 88. 88% of users are actually break even or even profitable for the company. It is the 12% that isn't. And these 12% of users are going to the movies over six times in a month. And they're located in cities like New York and Los Angeles where the price of a movie ticket is a lot higher than the national average. Once we deal with these users, these 12%, the company will be break even and even profitable. Now you may be wondering what would Trident Funds even do with, show, uh, with uh, MoviePass? The first thing, we want to be completely transparent with the shareholders. Uh, there's been a lot of rumors going around that HMNY has not been transparent with the shareholders to date. Uh, another thing, all new releases need to be seen, you know. Uh, you can't just uh, say some movies are good and some movies are bad. Every new movie needs to be able to be seen by the viewer, and that's all part of the movie passes and Mitch Lowe's uh, grand plan. The final thing that needs to be changed and needs to be worked on the most is the customer service. Uh, we've all experienced firsthand, and our siblings have experienced firsthand, that the customer service of the 3 million users of MoviePass has not been up to par. And we know in this day and age that customer service is everything if you want to have a successful company. My brother, his sister, a bunch of our friends and family, everyone uses MoviePass. So we all know that the subscription model works on paper. And one of the plans for MoviePass was to work with large theaters to get support to come up with some kind of agreement between the two. You know, once MoviePass gets a larger market share, that won't be an issue. Starting from where we were, or where MoviePass was when they were acquired by HMNY, Ted said that cash was a non-issue. That clearly wasn't the case. They were so focused on working the public company that they lost sight of what Mitch Lowe's vision was. They lost sight of the moviegoers, the shareholders, the people who really were being served with MoviePass. And that is why a value add like ourselves need to be brought on board to help out uh, the company. Uh, essentially, essentially, MoviePass is too preoccupied with being a public company as Yasha referred to. And realistically, uh, a week and a half ago when they did that desperation note with Hudson Bay, that was just poor financial uh, management by uh, the HMNY uh, executive team. That's something that should have never happen. So it's time that we separate uh, MoviePass from HMNY, you know, become their long-term financers, and actually see Mitch Lowe's plans through. MoviePass is a first user in this space, and AMC, for example, they're one of the theaters, but also competitors in a sense, because they've come up with their own subscription model to allow their customer base to go to the movies at certain times of month for a certain fee. And, you know, we want to be here to spearhead the change alongside MoviePass, and we want to make sure that moviegoers never miss a new release of a movie ever again. Yeah, to use a movie reference, we are the new hope, and uh, MoviePass will strike back. If you guys have any, if anybody has any questions, discussion, 
please comment, please email us, please reach out to us. We want to be the voice for the minority shareholders that HMNY has now diluted from their aftermarket transaction. We are here uh, to address all issues and we hope to be in contact with Mitch uh, soon and hopefully we can take some action steps from there. If you're curious about how we're going to get everyone on board, just know, we're going to make them an offer they can't refuse. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Visit us on www.tridentfunds.com and don't forget to follow us on all social media.